Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nessa and today we are looking at the Demoiselle train. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but it is a mod here for Planet Zoo made by Bongo Hardwood. And uh, yeah, let, let's let's just get in. No, no, not in here yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I'm just gonna find all of the right buttons so we actually can see it there it is and jump back here so it of course have this quite unique look to it with these longer almost hair like feathers uh, going from the eye and downwards behind the uh, neck and in uh, on the chest piece they're also longer so they actually hang a little bit from the belly besides that they have this uh, gray to white colorations black coloration and this red brownish eye then we can get into the game yeah uh let's go out in the sun we have quite a few in here and they're beautiful again i haven't gotten too close to them yet but i think they are you have a purple eye yeah Okay, already there. I'm clearly confused, but the eye here is clearly purple. I'm in love with that. I'm not sure if they can have purple eyes. Uh, again, I'm looking at this specific picture. The mothers probably looked at a million pictures. The beak look very, very nice. And uh, we have the lighter coloration on the top, then down to blackish. Then these longer feathers that hangs here, and you can actually see underneath them that they clearly hangs and are not attached in here. That's very well done. But we do not have that longer feathers going on here, which I think is a little sad because in the paint job, you can see they try to paint these longer feathers. But when you go in, the texture just doesn't allow it it looks texture wise more like again hair feathers in planet suit doesn't work that much but they did make these beautiful ones up here that's not perfect but they actually look really good for feathers and planet zoo they could just attach a few of them down here and allow them to hang a little bit maybe start it from here and then layer it down once thicker and thicker that would have looked amazing but again i'm not the mother there's probably a reason why they have made the choices they have made they did not fix the back um feather and these feathers here comes from either the crane or the flamingo from the game the thing is frontier messed up and have this specific feather not attached and that's something you can see if the mothers noticed and fixed or not and in this case it's not fixed we're gonna also see here there's quite a few of them what they did do however was uh, is that they have they earned uh, the perfecta texture up here so it's not as noticeable as it is for for instance the red crown crane from the game where you have a real big gap here because it's made more fluffy than the gap is smaller and not that easy to see but since i know it's there i'm looking for it we have the heat here. The texture is the standard texture for all long-legged birds in the game. And we have the small claws in here. I do like the paintwork though. I'm not even sure if we can see the legs here. No, we cannot, but it's it does look good. Uh, anyway, oh, I forgot we normally do Supedia first, but I guess we're going to do it here. It is a least concerned animal with 230,261,000 individuals in the wild. They are from, hold on, <clears throat> Afghanistan, of, of Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Chad, China, Cyprus, Egypt, Ethiopia, India, 
Iraq, Iran, Israel, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan. That wasn't right. I'm so sorry. I don't think I ever heard that before. Lebanon, Moldova, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nambia, Nepal, Nigeria, Oman, Pakistan, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Slovakia, South Sudan, Sudan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and Yemen. Oui, that was a lot. One of them need 50 square meters of land and five of water. You need a temperature between minus 20 to 35. So some of the most of the uh, biomes from the game will become above 35. But besides that, they should be fine. Create one fence above a meter and a half. Group sizes from 4 to 80, but that's half of each. No dominance. They are monogamous, gregarious, or mature offspring are tolerated in the group. Neutral around humans and guests can enter the habitat. They grow to about 90 centimeters tall, being 3 feet, and live for around 27 years. Uh, weigh two to three kilos, being roughly um, six, seven, sorry, five to six pounds, I guess. Um, but a bit retakes your maturity at age four or between four and eight years. That's interesting. Uh, can reproduce till they die, get between one and three offspring a year, and be pregnant f for a single month. They should be about average to get to reproduce in captivity, and that's the standard flamingo thingies in here. Waterfall with middle frame, sprinkler, herbs and marga, mirror mobile, and forage pool, and no interspecies enrichment. Anyway. I think we came around to the babies again. It they are cranes, so there's not a big gender differences uh, that I have noticed anyway. The baby here is very cute and look like a lot of the other ones we have for the baby cranes. It have more yellow uh, toned up here and then a more cold darker gray um, coloration down here. Um, again, babies for a lot of birds are very boring color-wise, but it have a little bit of color to it. And the beak also have a few colors. And actually, the colorations here, mix of colorations, looks very beautiful. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's actually... Oh, sorry, I'm confused. I'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter. Um, but still get around to say all I want to say. So yeah, they are beautiful. And again, they do like the water. Uh, and I have seen a lot of them just stand in this water. I haven't seen any swim, of course, because there's not... Well, the baby swims <laughs> down here. It sits a little low in the water, though. <laughs> uh, but it's not deep enough for the adults to swim. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. So as always, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.